The bone tools and layout offer all sorts of ways of managing and manipulating your bone rigs. And I thought we could take a look at over in the setup tab, I thought we could take a look at the detail subgroup and look at these four tools and see what they're all about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to the top view. I'm just going to go to items, add null, and this is going to be our character. Okay, just move that down. Come over to the setup tab. I'm going to draw a couple bones like so. Okay, and let's take a look at what we've what we've got. So, the first one I'd like to take a look at is the unparent bone. Right now, this bone is parented to this bone. So if I move it, it's the child of that bone. But if I wanted to, I could select this bone, click unparent bone. It becomes the the child of the root, which is the null, which is the character. So when I go to rotate this, it's no longer parented. So I'm going to rotate this bone up like this. Okay. Now, there's some confusion with some people between what bone connect and bone fuses. They, they sound similar in name, but they do two completely different things. Let's start with bone connect. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select this bone and this bone, and I'm going to use bone connect. Now, I can use snap parent tip to the child base, which would snap this tip to that base. I could snap the child base to the tip, which would actually move the, tip, the base here to here. I could create a new bone in between, or I could just parent the, the child in place. I'm going to create a new bone in between, okay? And it's gonna be from bone three and two, okay? And so I've created this new bone right here. So that's bone connect. Now you don't have to create a new bone, okay, but you could if I were to say I'm going to take this bone and I'm going to unparent it and then I'm going to rotate this up um, and select both of these and go to bone connect. I'm going to snap the tip, the parent tip over to the child base, okay. So there we go. So now they're connected and I didn't have to manually go and do that. Sometimes you may find in a rig that you need to just connect the, the bones back together and this is one way to go about doing it. Now bone fuse allows me to select two bones and create them as one. So now there, it's just one bone. Okay. Now I can also use bone split and if I want, I'll split it into, uh, let's just do three bones, and we'll use the mode of fracture to collinear, okay? I'm going to select these. It split that one bone into three. I'm going to select those and fuse them together, and select these and fuse them together, and select these and fuse them together. And now what I'm going to do is um, let's just edit our bones a little bit. I'm going to use uh, tip move. Okay, and do something like this. I'm going to grab this bone and I'm going to split it, bone split, but this time I'm going to uh, change it to spline interpolation and I'm going to make 12, ooh, not 142 bones, I'm going to make 12 bones and now instead of it splitting it in a straight line, I'm getting this nice curve. That can be really great if you're wanting to add a bunch of bones in a tail uh, or in a, uh, in a ponytail, like a hair ponytail. Um, you could, uh, and it's got a curve, you could just draw one bone and split it and have it do the curve for you. Of course, we can always go back and fuse some of these together. Okay, So that's just a quick look at the detail tools, uh, the detail bone tools, which are bone split, which will allow us to select the bone and split it into as many different bones as we want. The new bones will take on the, the properties of the original bone. So weight maps and uh, bone strength and things like that. Bone connect allows us to um, take the parent and turn uh, the next bone into the child. You could also create a bone in between. Bone fuse allows us to select multiple bones and it, it just two bones at a time and create one bone. And unparent bone allows us to unparent the selected bone from its um, from its parent and then it'll automatically parent it to the 
null or the character that it's um, that it's part of because bones have to be part of an object. So again, just a quick look at the detail tools and uh, detail bone tools under the setup tab.